And welcome back to the Mike Pressler Show here at Blackie's Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield, Rhode Island. I'm Mike Mancuso. Glad to be joined now by Bryant University President Ron Makeley. Mr. President, glad you could join us here on the Mike Pressler Show. Great to be with you. Thank you. And you took over as president in 1996, and you oversaw the transition from Bryant College into Bryant University. What were the primary factors involved in making that particular change, and what has that change meant to the school? Well, we are, were historically a college with one school of business. Now we have a university status with a college of business and a college of arts and science. Uh, we have a unique opportunity for students to major in one field and minor in the other. So if you're majoring in psychology, you can minor in marketing. If you're majoring in actuarial math, uh, you could minor in uh, management. And it's a, a unique niche. Uh, very few people have the opportunity to have courses in both disciplines. So it gives us an opportunity to expand our depth, and we also have new majors that we offer. Excellent. Now, in terms of athletics, you've been a huge supporter since day one. And in 2001, you officially opened the Chase Wellness and Athletic Center. How proud were you when that building officially opened, and what did it mean to your athletic program? Well, athletics is part of our strategic plan. Our goal is to move everything up. Uh, when we went from Bryant College, Bryant University, uh, we moved into a more competitive academic environment. When we moved from Division II to Division I, we were moving up our athletic uh, competition. Uh, the Bryant uh, Fields, the Athletic uh, Center, Chase Center, were part of that. We want to make sure that our facilities, uh, our players, our coaches, our faculty, our classrooms, our library are second to none. And so that was a very important step. And now, under your tenure as well, the athletic department is nearing its completion of the full transition from Division II into Division I athletics. What were the primary factors in making that jump into D1 athletics for all 22 intercollegiate sports? Well, we had a very successful Division II program. Uh, we had won uh, almost 85% of our athletic contests the last year. We had won the President's Cup in our league four out of the last five years. We were ready for that next challenge. Uh, we did it because we had the right coaches, we had the right athletic director, uh, we had a board who believed that if we moved to the next level, uh, we could move out of the region of New England and start recruiting in the mid-Atlantic states, because many of the people in our league are in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania. And now, in 2006, you and athletic director Bill Smith were faced with the challenge of hiring a new men's lacrosse coach, and you absolutely hit the jackpot with the hiring of Mike Pressler. How happy you've been with that hire, and what has that hiring meant to both Bryant Athletics and Bryant Lacrosse? Well, you only have to look at the standings of the, our lacrosse team right now. We're 19th in the country to understand how important that particular hire was. It was important for us, and I think it was important for Mike uh, that we uh, gave him back a, a career which he uh, had unfortunately and unjustifiably taken yeah. from him. Uh, the Duke administration handled that situation very poorly and uh, it was an opportunity for us uh, to get a great coach and we were thrilled with it. Uh, he not only has been a great coach, but 100% of his athletes graduate. He brings the right kind of kids to our campus and it's been a great addition. What it does for the other coaches is it helps them to understand what it takes to be successful both as a recruiter and a coach on the field and a motivator of your team and the ethics and uh, academic responsibilities that he places on his athletes. Right, so it's been a win-win for everybody across win -win the Win-win around the board. So as a frequenter of many Brighton athletic events, I see you all the time, whether it's basketball, football, lacrosse. What do you enjoy most about the intercollegiate athletic experience? Well, i played intercollegiate sports myself. Uh, I've played sports all my life. I still play squash competitively. And what I like to see is uh, young people going out there, uh, even when they're maybe the underdogs, coming back and winning uh, perhaps games that they weren't supposed to, uh, and then leaving there as, as athletes and going back into the classroom and, and going back into uh, social life and being model citizens, graduating, going out and getting great jobs. 98% of our graduates have a job within six months with an average starting salary of over $51,000. We graduate 100% of our athletes when in Division I basketball, only 40% of the athletes are going beyond the second year. Wow, very impressive stuff. And now, finally here, what do you see as the next step for Bryant Athletics as you complete this phase into Division I? Well, we've received from uh, the NCAA uh, the letter that says your self-study report's been approved, so we're going into Division I. Uh, we have positioned ourselves so that we're now ready for the playoffs. We want to be national champs in uh, at least one sport. Lacrosse is a great opportunity for us. 
we want to next year go into the playoffs in football, basketball, tennis, uh, and uh, a few other sports to be very competitive, not only in our league, but at the national level. Excellent. Well, President Makeley, we thank you for joining great, us Mike. here on the Mike Presser Show. Great to be with you, and great to be with Mike. Thank you. When we return, we'll break down this weekend's upcoming game against Robert Morris. It's all here next on the Mike Presser Show on Cox Sports Television.